Today we're going to talk about tooling mounting on the Urco 6576 machine. We're going to mount the tooling on the machine as well as build a tool set file. You'll need a tool set file for every size tool you have, be it inch and a quarter pipe, one inch tube, whatever, as well as radius size. So for inch and a quarter pipe, certain radius, you're going to have a tool set. For a one inch tube, an R76 radius, you're going to have a tool set for that. So every time you change tools, you're going to have it build a tool set file for that unique tool set. When I talk about tooling, these are what I'm going to refer to. Former, pressure die, clamp die, wiper die, mandrels. You see the mandrels, there's two mandrels here. One is tool steel chrome, one is Amco bronze. They're used for different applications, different materials. The collet here is also recognizable. There are different collets for Urco 65, which is a one-piece screw-in collet. Urco 76, which is a segmented collet. They are size specific as well. So the tooling that's specific to size, the former is radius specific and size specific. The wiper die is radius specific and size specific. And the collet is size specific. So those are unique to every tool set. So first we're gonna go ahead and mount the collet in the machine so they have all the tooling off the machine and then the area is open now, I can mount the collet into the you know, tailstock. So in this case, Urco 65, I'm gonna take this collet. I'm gonna go back to the rear of the machine first, pull the drawbar back so I have room to get the collet in. Collet's going to thread into the tailstock. Very fine thread. Collet threads in. There's a spanner wrench that we supply with the machine to tighten the collet in position. Spanner wrench to pinhole locations here. And lock the collet in. Hand tight sufficient. Now, the next step, we're going to actually put the manual on the drawbar. I'm going to bring the drawbar through the carriage, through the nose. And I'm going to put the collet and the manual on. Bring the drawbar forward to this area here so I have room to thread the manual onto the drawbar. The manual gets threaded on. In this case, the drawbar is a one inch drawbar, M18 thread. I thread the drawbar on. Manual on the drawbar, I should say. Make sure the manual is securely locked on the drawbar. Chucking flat here on the bar. Flats on the mandrel itself. Make sure that's securely tightened. Now we go back to the rear of the machine, put the drawbar back in place. In addition to this video, there are instructions with photos on mounting the tooling on this machine as well. Next thing I'm going to put on is the former. So the former 
is radius and size specific. If you notice on the bottom of the former, there's a detent here, and there's also a socket head cap screw on the tool shaft here, which is for former return. And you mount the former, it goes on shaft, making sure that the detent is engaged and the former sits down on that detent on that socket head cap screw. Next piece of tool that goes on is the clamp die. The clamp die is again size specific, so it's for inch work, pipe, inch and a half tube, whatever size you're working with. Dovetail mount, just gonna drop it on the dovetail here. The fingers right now on the clamp cylinder are up, the spring catches are engaged, the fingers are held up. Just gonna slide these up, drop the clamp die on the uh, dovetail mount. I'm also gonna right now release the catches on the springs. Fingers are down. Next piece of tooling we can put on is the pressure die. The pressure die mounts from the top, one hole secures it here, one bolt from the top down. It is possible to mount the pressure die upside down. If you do that, the location will be such that the face or nose of the pressure die is into the clamp area, which is not correct. This correct position here leaves the clamp die, or pressure die I should say, at the tangent point. We're going to loosen the bolt here, remove it, pressure die is going to drop in. One bolt. All the fasteners in this machine are metric. A one bolt from the top, six millimeter, secures that in. Okay. This tool set is R76, inch and a half tube, meaning we need to set our carriage center line and our tail stock center line to the former. So our draw bar is parallel center line of our tooling. So to do that, there's a scale here on the carriage assembly, handle here to adjust that for center line as well as the tail stop. The scale here, two handles here to release this and position the tail stock in center of the tools. That has been done already, so now we can go ahead and mount the wiper die onto the machine. Wiper die size specific and radius specific to the tool set. Wiper die bracket goes on, dovetail mount again. One screw secures it from the back. Wiper die mounts on a pin on the bracket here and one pin. So this bracket is loose right now. I can move it. We mount the wiper bracket on, then position it and set it correctly. So around the pin, washer on the top side, pin drops through. Drops in. Now the wiper tip is meant to be at the tangent point of the former. So we're going to set the wiper tip so it's at the tangent line forward and the body is parallel with our pressure dot. So I'm going to bring this in, move the bracket, looking for parallel. On the back side, bring the wiper tip in. I'm feeling with my finger in the front here, the groove of the wiper, how the wiper tip meets the groove of the former. Should be a nice smooth blend.
And that's the position there. We can lock that in down. So let's lock this down, lock that down. Last, put that lock in position. Last thing we do on the tool set is to mount our pressure down, our tie bar somewhere. High bar goes on, locks in, secure that way. All the tooling is now mounted on the machine. We do still have to write a tool set file, build a tool set file for this tool set. And that'll be in the next video.